Roman numerals, understanding the digits and forming Roman numbers. We are going to study Roman numerals. Can you guess where does Roman numerals come from? They come from Rome. Do you know where Rome is? Rome is in the continent of Europe. Rome is the capital of Italy. Roman numerals originated in ancient Rome during 900 and 800 BC. Let us see what Roman numerals are. A number system always has symbols. The number system that we use is known as the Arabic number system. It is also known as the Hindu Arabic system. The symbols used are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. As you can see, there are 10 symbols. So we also call it the decimal system. Deci means 10. So decimal system means a system of 10 symbols. What are the symbols in the Roman numeral system? I, V, X, L, C, D, M. Let us write the value of each symbol. I is 1, V is 5, X is 10, L is 50, C is 100, D is 500, M is 1000. All Roman numerals are written using these symbols. Did you understand the symbols of Roman numbers? Yes, that's great. You must have seen Roman numerals on watches or clocks. From the position on the dial, you can guess what does the Roman numeral stand for. As you can see, these numerals look very different from our regular numbers. Let us do a quick comparison. We will write the regular and the Roman numerals side by side. Now, let us understand the pattern. Let us look at the first three Roman numerals. We can see that the symbol of 1 is I. We can see that the symbol of 2 is two I's. When a symbol is repeated to the right, we add the value. This is a rule you have to remember. So, two I's mean 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2. We can see that the symbol of 3 is 3 I's. So, 3 I's means 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is equal to 3. Let us look at the next three Roman numerals 4, 5, 6. We can see that the symbol of 5 is V. We can see that the symbol of 6 is VI. When the smaller symbol is written to the right of the bigger one, we add the value. So, VI means 5 plus 1 which is equal to 6. We can see that the symbol of 4 is IV. The symbol of 5 is V and that of 1 is I. Rule When the smaller symbol is written to the left of the larger one, we subtract. So, IV means 5 minus 1 which is equal to 4. Well, why can't we write IV as I, 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 I? There is a reason to it. You can't repeat a symbol one after the other more than three times. This is one more rule you have to remember. Let us have a look at the rules we have seen so far. When the smaller symbol is written to the right of the larger one, we add. When the smaller symbol is written to the left of the larger one, we subtract. We can't repeat a symbol one after the other more than three times. Write which numbers these Roman numerals stand for. I stands for 1, V stands for 5, X stands for 10, I, I, I stands for 3, 
VII stands for 7, XVI stands for 16, XII stands for 12, VIII stands for 8, XXX stands for 30. Use the rule number 1 and 2 and write which numbers these Roman numerals stand for. XXI X stands for 10 and I stands for 1. XXI is equal to 10 plus 10 plus 1 which is equal to 21. VIII V stands for 5 and I stands for 1. Therefore, VIII is equal to 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is equal to 8. XII X stands for 10 and I stands for 1. Therefore, XII is equal to 10 plus 1 plus 1 which is equal to 12. XV X stands for 10 and V stands for 5. Therefore, XV is equal to 10 plus 5 which is equal to 15. XVIII X stands for 10, V stands for 5 and I stands for 1. Therefore, XVIII is equal to 10 plus 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is equal to 18. XXII X stands for 10 and I stands for 1. XXII is equal to 10 plus 10 plus 1 plus 1 which is equal to 22. XI X stands for 10 and I stands for 1. Therefore, XI is equal to 10 plus 1 which is equal to 11. XIII X stands for 10 and I stands for 1. Therefore, XIII is equal to 10 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is equal to 13. XXV X stands for 10 and V stands for 5. Therefore, XXV is equal to 10 plus 10 plus 5 which is equal to 25. XVI X stands for 10, V stands for 5 and I stands for 1. Therefore, XVI is equal to 10 plus 5 plus 1 which is equal to 16. XXIII X stands for 10 and I stands for 1. Therefore, XXIII is equal to 10 plus 10 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is equal to 23. XVII X stands for 10, V stands for 5 and I stands for 1. XVII is equal to 10 plus 5 plus 1 plus 1, which is equal to 17. VII V stands for 5 and I stands for 1. VII is equal to 5 plus 1 plus 1, which is equal to 7. XXVI X stands for 10, V stands for 5 and I stands for 1. Therefore, XXVI is equal to 10 plus 10 plus 5 plus 1 which is equal to 26. Write the Roman numerals for 1 to 15. 1 is I, 2 is II, 3 is III, 4 is IV, 5 is V, 6 is VI, 7 is VII, 8 is VIII, 9 is IX, 10 is X, 11 is XI, 12 is XII, 13 is XIII, 14 is XIV, 15 is XV. Write the Roman numerals for 16 to 30. 16 is XVI, 17 is XVII, 18 is XVIII, 19 is XIX, 20 is XX, 21 is XXI, 22 is XXII, 23 is XXIII, 24 is XXIV, 
25 is XXV, 26 is XXVI, 27 is XXVII, 28 is XXVIII, 29 is XXIX and 30 is XXX. Did you understand the rules of forming Roman numbers? Yes? Lovely! If you like our videos, do share them and subscribe to our channel. If you want awesome quizzes, write to us. Keep watching and keep learning with Walnut.